Well, that was a lot of technical difficulties. Hey, everybody, Adam from Team Swish here with Greg, also of Team Swish. How are you, Greg? Also of Team Swish. I am of Team Swish. You are of Team Swish, and we finally made it here. We boomered our way through all of this technology. My God, what a mess. So, uh, Greg got a hold of me after our last stream the other day and said, why don't we play some Doomsday? And I said, ooh, Doomsday, yes. I want to look bad on camera. So we're going to play some Doomsday. Um, this is the exact 75 that Greg is currently running himself. Um, so we're kind of putting it to uh, uh, testing his concept, if you will. Um, so, as you would expect, uh, Brainstorms, Ponders, three Personal Tutor, two Preordain, four Dark Ritual, two Dress, two Thoughtseize, four Days, two uh, an Ideas Unbound, one Oracle, one Edge of Autumn, four Doomsday, four Force of Will, four Street Raid. Uh, sideboard, um, so there is a Pact of Negation and a Lion's Eye Diamond and three Lotus Petals in here, as well as some lands. Um, Pact of Negation, four Force of Negation, two Dress, a Massacre, three Pyroblasts, Emrakul Aeon's Torn, Shellbock Isle, Cavern of Souls, and Consign to Oblivion are the cards in our sideboard. So, this is the deck list we'll be playing tonight. You can also find it in the Stream Decker extension by hitting exclamation mark deck at any point in time, and it will show you exactly what we're doing tonight. So, with all that said, Greg, do you have any comments before we get this underway? Uh, mostly, uh, stolen deck, right? Um, I hate Wasteland for losing to Wasteland, so basic lands. It is not common to be doing that. Um, also seems to be a lot of Grixis or Blue, Black, or, um, Saltai, but I think Grixis is the leader mostly for the red stuff out of the board. Um, let's see what else. I only have one Edge of Autumn, so that's why only one Edge of Autumn. A lot of lists are running two now because of life concerns after building a pile. Sometimes a street race will just not be an option. Sure. So I don't have it. I do have the fourth personal tutor, but a lot of them are just... Brain Force, or I'm sorry, Force of Will Fodder. Sure. So you only really need to see one, if any, ever. I've seen uh, a, a dude, Kai or whatever his name is, play a league where he never cast a fucking spell. Nice. I also like a lot of discard because I would rather fight counter wars preemptively through discard rather than on the stack. That's just my preference, so that's why I like I I have a lot of counter or not counters, but a uh, discard, and then more decide. Fair. So we'll kind of talk about some of the the choices and my personal feelings and whatever after we finish this league. Um, I will say, Greg, you say you only own one edge bottom. Boy, do I have a gift for you then. You got one. Uh, so that is a foil time spiral remastered edge of autumn. Uh, I opened that in my box a while back. That now has your name on it, good sir. Yeah, I accept. All right. So, without any further ado, let's get the show on the road. Let's cast some doomsdays. So, hopefully, hopefully, we uh, don't run into the mirror tonight because I have literally no idea how that's supposed to work. I watched a game. I watched a game. Two or th uh, it must have been. Two or th it, it must have been game three. Um, it must have been game the guy went to go Doomsday, and he had literally no other option but to force a will pitch Thassa's Oracle. That sounds right. So he um, built a Doomsday pile with Street Race in it, and then cast them all and beat the shit out of them. Nice. Them. Ooh, there's our first opponent. All right. Uh, we'd love to play first. There this... is a slight echo. I agree. Yeah. This is... Yikes. Well, we can't keep that. That doesn't have any lands. 
And Lotus Petal is, is good, but not that good. Is there any way to move the Swish Gaming logo off of the cards? That better? Yes. Yeah, I need land. All right. Yikes. I still think it's good. Brainstorm will fix it with these fetch lands. Yeah, and I'm probably going to bury one of this. this Are we on the play or the draw? Uh, we're on the play. That's good. I'm going to bury this delta. Hopefully they don't mega brain fucking force our brainstorm on turn one. Uh, I, mean, I don't two. plan on casting the brainstorm on turn one. Yeah, not, not this turn, next turn. Play this delta and pass. That brainstorm just needs to find a blue card and a dark ritual, and we are off to the races. What? What, what, what? Can you not do that? You brainstorm or do you? Oh, yikes. Ouch. Yikes. Oh, man. This one, this one. Oh, gross. So, whatever. So we don't cast Dark Ritual and we just went on turn three instead. Yeah, that's kind of the game plan. Yeah, that's kind of the game plan. So I put the Dark Ritual underneath this Delta. I'm going to fetch with this Delta. This Delta, I'm going to fetch with this Delta. Because I think... Ooh. Still would like to draw a blue card for... Yikes. I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, oh, whoa. We can totally beat that. That's fine. Oh, whoa. We can totally beat that. I was terrified that that was a thought knots here for a minute. That yeah, was that would have sucked. Dangerous business. That would have sucked. Uh, I'm going to grab the swamp here. Draw a card. Well, you're, I mean, I guess your force of will fodder is what you are. That's like, I, I mean, I, oh, now we can protect our doomsday in case this is a thought knots no. here coming up. Well, I'm just going to cast this doomsday. Oh, of course, yes. That was turn three. Oh, of course, yes. That was true. Oh, for black, black, doomsday. So. I think we just, let's see, we're going to go down to, we're going to lose nine, down to. Down to eight. eight, take four off this endless one. So we can only use one street wraith. No more. You can only have one street wraith in the pile. So, Edge of Autumn, Street Wraith. Do because we're going to have so much mana, I think you can... Um, we're going to have so much mana, I think... You can, ideas unless, Unbound? We gotta, we gotta, yeah, uh, uh, Ideas Unbound. We've got the Volcanic just in case they wasteland uh, the Underground Sea. So, so Ideas true. Unbound... Is just going to draw. So Edge of Autumn, Ideas Unbound, Street Ray. Yeah, Oracle. Is Oracle. Get an LED in there and we're good. I mean, LED or we just grab Petal? Yeah, Petal's probably fine too. Yeah, Petal's probably fine too. Alright. Unle well, no, unless they, unless they wasteland. If they wasteland. Uh, us off blue, we would be one blue short. Well, so we have would... the volcanic island, and we'll grab. Yeah, but we need. Oh, but yeah, we yeah. need two blue or on yeah, idea. So I would just get, grab the LED and play around the wasteland. I mean, that's fair. Or just get two petals. Do we have room for two petals in there? Uh, I mean, I think this is probably fine. Draw three cards. Actually, we can just nix this street wraith and grab a petal. Yeah. Cut Lion's Eye Diamond, grab two petals. That's what we're doing. So, Edge of Autumn into Ideas and Bound, Petal, Petal, Oracle. Yep. Okay. I don't know how to stack this. I've never Oracle, played it on Moto. Petal, Petal, Ideas, Edge. JP, what do you mean barf? We're having a Boy. grand old time here. Our opponent put an endless one into play and we're... Maybe, maybe we could have also considered playing around them just drawing another Chalice of the Void and playing it. That's what Force of Will but, Preordain are for. There you go. 
Yep. You know, so we did a we accidentally played around it. So we did a, uh, oh, we never played around Smasher either. Oh, outside of Force of Will preordain. So that's okay. We're at one. Okay. Land. Oh. Good call on getting rid of the street right then, because that would have that would have been dead. Ideas and bound, pedal, pedal, blue, blue, oracle, a, a. Okay. So. So. Uh huh. So, what do uh, we? I don't. Do we do? Do we want anything? I don't. I mean, do we want these outside of the Pretty bad. You I'll could put the consignment in to bounce chalice or to bounce. We'll cut these duresses. We'll take. Yeah, consign oblivion. And we'll, Actually, you know what? Force in, of, I kind of want all these force of negations. Yeah, you want the force of negations because chalice of the void. We cannot stop. We don't have anything to stop that. So maybe we maybe screw the consign. We don't care about that as much. I mean, we that just still just bounces it, right? And they're on the play? It does, yeah. So I, I, mean, I think you want all the forces. In all the deck techs I've seen, it's all four forces to fight Chalice. We can shave a daze for that. On the draw weekend, yes, probably. Uh, or a personal packs? tutor, but... Or a Actually, we don't need the um, pact. I'm we don't packed. need the pact of negation. Yeah, I just I just figured it out. Yeah, JP barfing at Chalice is reasonable. I barf at Chalice of the Void on a pretty regular basis. What? What? This what? is terrible. Yikes! Mulligan. This is amazing. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna put I the mean... second Doomsday in the bottom. And, well, I mean, do ya? Yeah. What if what if they thought not us? I don't care. I guess it doesn't matter because we're gonna we're gonna doomsday turn one. Sure Who cares? Are. And we found another one anyway, Greg. Does it? It doesn't even matter. How do we do this? So there, I mean, we're not winning. We got to pass. So we have. What are we playing around? Them having a wasteland. So do you just want to go get a? So if we just have to pass here, do we just let them do the thing? We... I don't think that, like, it hurts us at all to just let them do their thing. We can just pass. If we're going to make a pass the turn pile anyway... Sure. We about. could get into a position that is... That is... I so, mean, the best one to pick here is Dark Ritual, right? Sure. And so they take Dark Ritual, and so we wait to cast our Doomsday on three. So, and part of this problem is that we don't have Second Edge. Like, I, I kind of want us having Second Edge. Mm -hmm. so we took a Dark Ritual, that's nice. Mm -hmm. What do we draw here? Days. Okay. I th I think now we just kind of go for it because we can force a will slash days. Um, I don't have third mana source. Oh, duh, they took it. I mean, we could street wraith into it, I guess, because it's basically just cycle for one life at this point, pre-doomsday. Sure. Oh, that could be bad. Oh, it's... I mean, it's fine. Yeah. I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was a... Uncounterable thought not. Yeah, like, uncounterable thought knots here. They're going to take probably the street wraith. Probably the street wraith? Hmm. Wait a minute here. Mm. I mean, we're on a two-turn clock. We have to cast Doomsday. Actually, we can't. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. I think we should have just gone for it on turn one. But I probably 
Looking at it again, I think we were just supposed to go on turn one. Do I want any of this now? Probably not. I don't think any of these other things are good. We did I'll, see the, I'll we did see maybe the, having the... Oh no, we, we kept the fourth days. Uh, on the die roll. Yes. Uh, sure. This is fine. Um, so what I did think about after the fact is that we did see that they are Eldrazi post. Um, so with them being Eldrazi post, I don't think I want any of this garbage. Um, nice. Okay. So with them being Eldrazi post, the odds that they have Wasteland are pretty low. So we could have taken Shellbock for Emrakul. That's more to fight endurance in Delver more than it is endurance this. In Delver more than it is uh, this. Huh. Brainstorm. Not a big fan of uh, having all these basic lands right now, Greg. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't disagree with you there. Um, swamp days. Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna, you can just I'm gonna go get it. Personal tutor, yeah. Personal yeah. I mean, we do we want to have it in our hand this early, though? I mean, we do we want to have it in our hand this early, though? I mean, like, we have a ponder. We have... I mean, like, we have a ponder. We have days, like, if we need it. It's also not going to our hand, right? Personal tutor puts it on top. Yeah. So, I'm not super scared. I'm not super scared. We need to find, like, a dark ritual or a land or something, but I think all of that's super doable. Endless one on four. So we can. Jesus. Yeah, I say we daze that. Jesus. Yeah. Because Just, then it means yeah. their mimic still sucks. Yeah. I'm really tempted too to cycle this street wraith now to try to find dark ritual. It doesn't. Yeah. Because we know that the top card is doomsday. So if we draw that now, then we can try to ritual it out. Okay, well, that didn't work. Cast. This. Ponder. This. Uh, well, there's the third mana source. So I think I want... This, this, this. Not gonna shuffle. Okay. Okay. Because then we're gonna draw into. Then we're gonna draw the fetch land. Then we have fetch land pedal C. And that all casts the doomsday. With no. days and force pitch force back up. Correct. So we really only have to fade a wasteland. Uh oh. So we really only have to fade a wasteland. I mean, I think uh -oh. that that's still pretty reasonable. Yeah. Glimmer post, sure. We know the one card that we. And we don't even. What is going on? What's up with the. Yeah. Endless one on four with a glimmer post to play around the days. And sure. We don't even... I'm going to take four. All right. The twelve, we doomsday down to six. Gross. And we're going to well, we pass. I, I don't think this wins. No, we just die. Because we don't have a way to draw a card. Oh, well, all right then. Because we don't have a way to draw a card. That's a spectacular start. Oh, well, all right then. So, yeah, because we didn't have a way to draw a card. Yeah, we probably lost it in game two, and we should have just turned one them. Yeah, I think so. I think that was the kind of the big yeah, mistake, was not just... Got a, little, got a little scared of all the stuff that he could have had instead of making him have it. Not a little scared of all the stuff that he could have had. Yeah, I mean, I think that you kind of got to build your piles to to play around a certain yeah. amount of stuff. 
kind of gotta build your piles. And I think that you have to kind of plan your turns out to play a certain around a, st around a certain amount of stuff. Kind of plan. But I don't know. Yeah. We needed one of those fetch lands though to cast Doomsday. Yeah, correct. So we needed we needed another mana source to cast the Doomsday, yeah, yeah, and and that was so, something yeah. I thought about was like, do we just shuffle this? Um, but I I thought that the chances, yeah, Dark Ritual. I mean, which is the the thing that I was cycling the Street Wraith for. So maybe the real situation there was don't cycle Street Wraith. Just take my natural draws instead, because then Street Wraith gets us into. Did we have the ponder yet, though, or? Uh, we did have the ponder, but the the. So I guess or... what I'm saying is I think that instead of. Uh, Even with the Street Wraith, though, it wouldn't have got us into a pile that we could then start drawing more piles. I feel like this is a keep, right? I think so. You've got, yeah. Yeah, like this. This feels way too good. Dark ritual. You've got two fours or two counters. You've got, yeah. Savannah. Yeah, two fours or two counters. Okay. Got... Sure, that's fine. Right. Yeah, I would daze that. Underground sea, you say? No. That feels pretty good. I would. Yeah, we, we couldn't daze that one, Greg, because as it turns out, our opponent uh, was on the play. Went first? Correct. If only they made a counter spell that you could play without going first. If only they made... I, I mean, it turns out, uh, I literally don't care about this Knight of the Reliquary. Not, not even a little bit. Outside of them going and getting Wastelands... I mean, I think there's a good chance we just kill them before that matters. Look at our hand. I'm going to brainstorm right now. We're going to look for Dark Ritual. I have double Street Wraith. I'm going to brainstorm right now. We're going to look for Dark Ritual. I have double Street Wraith. That's Personal Tutor Preordain. I'm going to put back... Personal Tutor Preordain. What? I'm going to put back... Days... I guess one Street Wraith at this point. This is going to fetch Island and cast Preordain. This is going to fetch Island. Both of these seem very bad. Both of these seem very bad. Street Wraith, yeah. Welcome to the party, buddy. Because, like, all, like, all we're really looking for right now is. Uh, like enough black mana to do the thing. Yeah, it's basic. Oh. Basic, island, basic lands are killing me right now. I don't think that's actually unreasonable. Like, uh, can I let this resolve? Problem? No, it's not unreasonable. But staring down, needing to cast doomsday, pretty fucking quick here. No, it's not unreasonable. But staring down. I think this is okay. So they're gonna wasteland us. I hate that wasteland. It's probably fine. We have another mana source. Okay. That force of will sucks. All right. So what if we grab the swamp? Cycle the street wraith. That's not what I wanted at all. Nice, cool. <laughs> that was second. Another doomsday was like the absolute last thing I was looking for. Thanks. Yeah, no kidding. Would have taken cantrip. Would have taken dark ritual. Like, yeah, we had some. Wow. Like, I don't think that gets to resolve. <laughs> I don't think there's a world in which we ever possibly win if that resolves. And I already think that our odds of winning are, like, pretty small. Alright, three. Brainstorm. There's the Dark Ritual. 
this away, put Tudor away. I, now this street wraith is dead, though. Well, so are we. We take five next turn. It's... Well, hold on. I gotta figure this out. How well, do we... So take five next turn. It's... What's the well, line? We... The line is... Doomsday... Doomsday is gonna put us at one. Yeah, Doomsday's is gonna put us at one. We literally can't use the street, right? Put us at one. Yep. Crap. One turn too late on the dark ritual. Yep, one turn too late. All right. One turn too late on the dark. What are we supposed to have here, right? Like consign, I guess. Is this a deck that would play Chalice? Uh, I'm less worried about Chalice and more worried about things like Collector Oof. Is this a deck that would play Chalice? Uh, I'm less worried about Chalice and more worried and about Massacre? Uh, I maybe? Probably, and I guess. Get rid of the two Duresses and put in the Massacre and Consign? Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else here is even worth it. But I don't this think is it is. is. Yeah. Well, actually, they they probably play Endurance in this green deck, so I would put in the other Pact well, Negation. Actually, they, they um, so I'm not super worried. I, they probably play some number of Endurance, but, like, what are we cutting for this Pact? Is it better than a Thoughtseize, or... I don't think that it necessarily is. Uh, is it better than Close Will? I don't think so. This looks great. I just want to Thoughtseize them on one. Mm-hmm. Get that Dryad Arbor out of their hand. Well, get whatever it might be. Let's oh, target you. Mother Runes. There's an actual factual endurance. That just goes away. What, what else is in there? I can't uh, see mom, it. So it's Mother Runes, Savannah, Green Sun Zenith, Plains, Forest, Green Sun Zenith, Endurance. I almost wonder if the green sun was better because it could be anything. It could even be an endurance. I almost wonder. If the I mean, was but that that requires them getting to enough mana, which I can stop it by. Could be a boat. Right. So like, they just don't currently have the mana to do basically anything. That's pretty good. They just don't currently have. The This is where they play, like, another Green Sun Zenith. Bro, can you not? This is where they play, like, another Green Brainstorm? Sun. Can you not? Uh, gross. Uh, put back... What, I mean, pedal, you're gonna get... Massacre? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna draw it. We're Brainstorm locked. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're going to draw it. We're bringing it along. This mom just is not a thing that matters, though, which is great. So, this mom can... Well, yeah, this mom just doesn't matter. No. So, well, A6 Womp go. So, so they, they still have... What's our next draw, Petal? Yeah. Do you want to... Do you want to... target draw? artifact or enchantment? Wanna... Does that matter even a little bit? No, I don't think it does. No, we can just play out our petals when we go off. Yeah, like, it's a 2-2, two -two, but I don't think 2-2 two -two matters. No. What the hell is that? It's from the new set. Uh, two mana, two two, pay oh, one, sacrifice. You're not it. that. Oh, it's the day. Yeah, it's the day the night. Day. Okay. Yep. I was wondering what the token was on your side. So we're just gonna let this be. All right. Maybe I do I like active, you... like aggressively street racing into more cards, but. It, it makes me nervous. I think with, the, um, with the lack of pressure, I think I'd rather just have the street race to get into our pile. Yeah. All right. 
It's just like we need to draw a, a land. We do. You are 100% correct. So gross. Do I just let that be? Mm, yeah, it it sucks, but I mean, I mean, like not the card we're looking for, drawing into, like the card we're really looking for right now is like Dark Ritual. Well, think. okay, okay, Misty Rainforest. That that casts that allows us to Dark Rich or to Doomsday next turn and Massacre if we need to. That just allows us to Doomsday this turn. Oh yeah, cause we, yeah, because we had the pedal. All right. Oh yeah. That puts us at six. They can attack for four down to two. So, so we want... are we still dead with a street wraith? Uh, I think we might be able to win this turn. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, edge of autumn. We go to six. Right. You can Wraith into Edge of Autumn, Edge of Autumn into, you gotta, we need mana to cast, what's her lips? Just Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, but we need to, we need to be able to draw multiple cards to play Lion's Eye Diamond and to draw a card into Thassa, so we yeah, need, yeah. we need um, ideas. So we need to pass for one turn. Yes. Uh... And so that's why I'm afraid the Street Wraith is dead. Well, so we well, can still, well, we can still we can massacre still, them, right? We can still we massacre can still them. This is, this is on the table. Uh, one, two, three. What else do we want? Which will save us one life. So Doomsday is going to put us at six. Next turn they attack uh, us for no, three. No, massacre, massacre is going to save us three life. No, because it's minus two, minus two, isn't it? And that thing's a three, three now? Yeah, but it's also going to kill the mom? Yeah, it's going to kill the mom, which is just a... And it's going to put the other thing to a 1-1. One, one. It's a sorcery, though. Oh, sure, sure. You're right, you're right. What am I thinking? But still, that one life, I think, is all we need to cast a street wraith next turn. So we... Yeah, or... Because it's a 6. We pass the turn. Oh, no, we massacre. They attack us to 3... Our turn comes Edge up. Edge of Autumn, we... Thassa's Oracle, Lotus, Lion's Eye Diamond. We untap. Brainstorm? Is that part of our pile? That feels like it's part of our pile. Is that part of our pile? That feels like it's part of our pile. They get basically a draw step to just draw three cards, so they basically have have ancestral visions on their side right now because they know they're dead next turn, so why not just pick up everything? So I think our fifth card doesn't matter. Unless they play a removal card. Well, we have Force Force, right? Yeah. Unless they play a removal card. So I think I want this order Edge of Autumn, Brainstorm, Oracle, Diamond, Days. Uh, why did you... Okay. Why... Does that matter? Three, put two back, edge... Draws this... Nope, that can't work like that. You keep... We need another mana source also. We need another blue card. I'm trying or to figure out how to get it to... Oh, we've got the diamond, also. okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to... It yeah. refuses to give me the cards in the order I want them. I guess... Bottom I don't think we, we still need a petal, though. Diamond, I don't think we do. I guess... Bottom I don't think we still need a petal, though. Uh... Nope, it's... The last card is our dates. So days, Island. Oracle, Diamond, Brainstorm, Edge. Island. Oh, you're doing it without ideas in mind. Correct. So the idea is to brainstorm. Uh, edge draws us in, floating a blue, draws us into Brainstorm. Brainstorm draws us into Days, 
Oracle Petal. Uh, we put back two cards, or sorry, uh, Days Oracle Diamond. Play Diamond. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is going to put these cards in the wrong order, and it won't let me do it any other way. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the Wasteland on the sea also. Like I said, they get three draws to find a Wasteland. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the Wasteland on the sea also. Can you turn the Days into just another um, petal? Sure. Can you turn the days into just another um, pedal? Uh, oh, that's right. It lets me do the thing here. Okay. So I want Oracle on bottom then. Yeah. And then Diamond, Petal, Brainstorm, Edge. And then we Massacre them. Actually, that might flip that stupid thing and save us another life if that's relevant. Actually, that might flip. Yeah, that that's and save us also a thing that can matter. Which, with having two damage on it, or do you, will the damage, the two damage, come off of it when it flips before it flips? When do you? I try guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. If player cast at least two spells, it becomes day next turn. So it doesn't flip until next turn. Oh, okay. All right. All right. But that's still a thing. Okay. So 2-2. Two, two. Sure. 2-2. Two, two. Sorry, Jimmy, I missed that. Yes, um, yeah, I, 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 I figured out now that I needed to just say yes yeah. and then order my cards. And also, yeah, them wasting this he is bad, and I think that's why we have this pedal as a plan. Um, Good call, everybody. Good call. There's the wasteland. You do it. Yeah. Uh, it's hold on. always. You do it. Yeah. We have to force this. Yeah, just force it. We are literally obligated. We, our pile doesn't win with that in play. Yeah, just force it. That's what you get for playing no blue. Is this where you green suns in for collector roof and I get fucking sad? Because that's what it feels like is going on here. Do they. They Is yep. collector roof two mana? They're, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. God, we're so dead. Is collector roof two mana? Yeah. Boy. Yup. Yeah, those top three cards were spectacular. <laughs> so we're very dead. Ancestral Visions is good in green decks. We are we are very, very dead. Ancestral Visions is good. Yikes. Indeed. Yeah. Jeremy, exactly. Isn't that what Sylvan Library always reads? Pay life win target game? Yes. Does it target? I don't I didn't think that Sylvan Library targeted game. I just think it selected all games in play. Oh oh I see, I see. Okay. Oh, all games in play. <laughs> All right. Boy, we might need to do another Doomsday stream where we're good at it. I mean, Boy. I think the point tonight was for us to not be good at, at it and get more practice and talk about it, right? Like, that's why we do this? Yeah, I mean, both of these both of these games felt like extru like this is what Doomsday almost preys on are some of the non-interactive on the stack decks. Like, not saying that they don't have legs, it's just see. I think that uh, that's not the case though. I think that Doomsday anymore now preys on like control decks, right? That's why we're a Force of Will plus Days plus Pact of Negation plus Duress plus Thoughtseize deck, like. Whereas once upon a time when you were a Tendrils deck, like, Control was one of your worst matchups. Because you just had to do so many things 
that like any one point like you needed a density of cards to do your thing and like the right amount of interaction at any one point from them just shuts you off completely now you're just like i need to do very little things most of the things you can't interact with a la street wraith edge of autumn what have you so now it's more all i need to do is stop you from stopping me from casting thassa's oracle whereas these like kind of on the ground aggressive decks now have a little more game because they can just pressure your life total and that cards like deafening silence have made a big deal Because, like, we had to force that deafening silence. We couldn't win through it. And that allowed our opponent to just resolve green suns for oof. Yeah, but at the same time, like, could we have built a pile that played around that nonsense? So, that's difficult because they also played the wasteland. So I, we I to, know. So we there would is have to, our pile that would have had to contain... What? A basic land. Which was already a... No. We, yeah, we so basic that. island. And they would have to make the same line of play. I, I mean, I suppose they didn't know that our pile didn't contain basic island. So if we let them do that, and then we float blue... So the problem is there that we can't cast the brainstorm. And that's where that becomes an issue is that we can't beat our pile need we could there was no way we could ideas unbound right yeah so we needed to cast brainstorm and we couldn't brainstorm and oracle it just came down to mana i think we didn't really have enough mana not quickly enough wow 343 in the queue that's a uh... Kind of slow for legacy cues. Meanwhile, Jeremy here in chat going back in my day in the vintage cues, sometimes you'd wait 35 minutes. So, yeah, I mean, but to your point earlier, Greg, I think that uh, a big part, like why you do this, right, is to, to kind of test it and feel it out. Like, so we, we talked about th through that pile that we we could not get a second Street Wraith in that pile. Yeah. But had we had second Edge of Autumn, that does a whole lot of stuff. It it does, and gotta gotta get that card. It's it's definitely showing up a lot in this. I've only really seen a couple of times where people have used the double Edge of Autumn, but. Twice it's come up already in two games, two matches. All right. So hear me out. I want to keep this. And I just want Misty to fetch Basic Island and cast Ponder. I'm not, a, I'm not adverse to that. It slows us down a little bit. So they're on the play. Or you can just go and get more, because we've got, we could really stretch their ability to wasteland us and just go after all of our underground seas right here because they're not going to draw four fucking wasteland. I mean, alternatively, yeah, I mean, I guess we could. I I would say do that just in case we happen to draw a doomsday. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. This is oops all spells. Or draw stuff. <laughs> this is oops all spells. Uh-oh. That's not good, friends. Well, um, do we get a turn? We're going to find out, because I'm going to dress him instead. Yep. Uh, I'm going to take your pact. Hey, uh, Greg, we figured out we don't have to play around Wasteland. <laughs> yep, just get him. Wild Cantor beats. Let's <laughs> go. Gross. All right, all right. Yeah, I didn't see either. I must be creatures. Gross. You did you or really man. just draw another 
They drew another spirit guide. Yikes. All right, show me your deck. So the, the rest of the hand was Pact, Balustrade Spy, Single Spirit Guide. So the only thing we could take with that duress was Pact. Yikes. And they just naturally drew uh, Memory's Journey, one Pact of Negation main, two Pact of Negation, three, four Pact of Negation, one thought sees, two thought sees, three thought sees. Gross. Yikes. All right, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna concede now that I've seen their deck. Do they win here? I assume they win here. Oh, they 100% win here. The they dread return their thoughts as Oracle and win the game. Oh, uh, cause they, okay. Yikes. Okay. Um. So. I think, like, these Force of Negation seem good. and Duresses. Uh, I don't even know that we want Duress. We could bring in Blast to fight more Counter Wars, because they're going to play, like, their packs are going to be so good. Um, I kind of want to cut our Duresses. I, I do not know what is in this deck. Uh, so... No, I you're basically rituals, spirit guides, wild cantor, um, stuff that puts your deck into your graveyard for Narc Amoeba, uh, a Dread Return, a Thassa's Oracle. Huh. Two more cards to cut. Uh, I think our Pact of Negation sucks. I, yeah, I can't imagine what they're going to be doing when we're going off. Shave a personal tutor, I guess? So we bring in four Force of Negation. We cut two Duress, personal tutor, Pact of Negation. Did you want to bring in those Pyroblasts? Maybe, but I don't know that we have room. I mean, do you want to get rid of the Thought Seizes? I suppose... So the, the the thing I see Maybe is thought, pedal? thought sees will take pedal, their or are we going fast? We're trying to go fast, but thought sees takes their enablers, right? Thought sees well, takes do we the need the diamond? Spy. We probably don't need the diamond because we can uh, just build like mega street rate piles. Diamond. What do I? What do we want then? Though blast. Maybe if, maybe if we don't use the diamond, we don't need the ideas unbound. Seems like that's something I've seen that Kai streamer do. And then what? What do we, like? Do we try to bring in the third one by cutting like a personal tutor? Or? Sure. So we have one tu personal tutor left. Do they? What are what are they running for blue to? Pact of negation. Pact of negation. Thassa's Oracle. Narc Amoeba. We can blast a Narc Amoeba while the other ones are still trying to come back. I guess, but it. Like, all of that's pretty pretty medium. Yeah. Maybe we only need just the two Pyroblast. Well, we made room for three. Uh, well, this is very close. I'm going to keep it. I would keep it. So we play out this pedal, right? So that it doesn't get discarded? Do they play discard? Oh, yeah. Like... Multiple Cabal Therapies and Thought Seizes. Okay, then yeah, just... Sit on the brain... Play it and sit on the brainstorm to... Uh, my thought anything. process was to preordain. And then daze them. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, uh, just Delta, fetch, Underground Sea, cast preordain, start looking yeah. for Doomsday. Let's just go find Doomsday. Yeah, I definitely think we run this. Like, this, this seems... We're way too close to to victory. All right. Delta pedal. Fetch. Get 
Underground. Cast Preordain. We do have to keep in mind that we might need that volcanic island then since we brought in the pyro blast. Do we want those that force? I, I mean that's a want lot the, of Yeah, I kinda want the force because again they play packed. Yeah, that's just a lot of interaction on their all in combo deck. The thing is they're not as all in as they once were. You gotta pedal. Dark Ritual, sure. Are they just going to make a shitload of goblins? Can they do that? Do they, they do no, that? No, this isn't Belcher, so they're just going to... Like, they're just going to try to kill us here. Brainstorm. All right, Force of Will. What does that land do that they have? Uh, It's a land that starts as a spell. And that's why they play it, is because the mm -hmm. Balustrates by an Undercity Informer yeah. check your deck for um, I got you. lands. Hey, look, we did it! What did we do? Hey, we did it! Dark Ritual. Is this one fine? Can we sculpt a hand with Brainstorm that allows us to have a all-in pile right now? That's what I'm looking at. So we have the pedal for Brainstorm. So we don't need the days anymore because uh, they're already immune to it. So right. if, we, if we Brainstorm into Oracle, Lion's Eye Diamond, Strait, oh no, we got rid of Edge of Autumn, Street Wraith. If we had the Lion's Eye Diamond, I think we could do it. Uh, thinking. Uh, Oracle, Wraith, Wraith, Edge. There's four. For a... Yeah, we need a turn. Well, put a Force of Will in your hand then. That we can brainstorm into, but uh, if we do that, we won't have the we, we won't need have a mana the source. Yeah. Just take C. So Edge, Wraith, Force, C, Oracle. Does that sound good? Yeah. I also think we have time. Do you, because... put, do you want to put C on top then? Because we can use it. Uh, we can. So we can put Oracle on bottom, Wraith, Edge, Force, C. So we brainstorm off this pedal. I mean, we can just wait too, right? They have two cards in hand. The likelihood they combo is... With... So, force will in the top three. Yeah, force will is in the top two. Okay. Yeah, I like. I think we're super safe here. Brainstorm. Wraith gets us edge. Edge gets us days. Yeah, we can we can just keep waiting. Did you put days on top? Uh it's underneath edge of autumn. Oh, okay, so you even if they do something we could get into it. Yeah. Pat gets you Cantor, sure. Cantor is in. Black Ritual. I literally can't let this resolve because if the last card in the hand is Spirit Guide, we just lose. Well, no, I mean... Yeah. Two life. 
cycle edge. Could just daze, well, yeah, we could can just use... daze them and, and sandbag the force of will. Yeah, that's the plan. Spirit Guide, okay. So this is in play, but they have nothing. So we just win. I believe you. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, so, this, uh, so Under City Informer is one of the two cards that flips their deck. Um, Under City Informer oh, takes yeah, one Yeah, they tempo. do die to pack also. We can just pass and not care. I mean, you're right. Or we can just kill them. Hmm. What is Mimi or? I mean, fair. Inside boarding. So I'm kind of back on taking these blasts out. At and least getting back them. our diamond. Yeah. Ideas unbound. You want to just leave one in? I mean, I don't. Sure. Like it's probably better than the personal tutor, if we're being honest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they died a pack, right? Like, all of this is true. Um, they died to Athasa's Oracle. Correct. They they did indeed die to Oracle instead. We did not have to cast our spells. We chose to. Okay. Look at all of this goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to cast this personal tutor and just grab a doomsday. Yeah, for sure. Underground C. Personal tutor. This you one. might as well just tell them that they're dead. I mean, that's kind of the game plan, right? We have just, double force, double blue card, plus... Like in the chat, just tell them you're dead. Oh, oh, no. Mercy scoop. Ooh, buddy. Okay. All right. Doomsday. All right. So we have a street wraith in hand. Edge of Autumn. Lion's Eye Diamond. Can we Street Wraith into a pedal and then brainstorm with that pedal into stuff that allows us to win immediately? That's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, well, we don't have a, I mean, we don't have a pedal in hand, though. No, but you can Street Wraith into the pedal and sure. then brainstorm off the pedal and draw Oracle um, Ideas Unbound. Uh, I don't think we um, want Ideas Unbound. LED and another pedal. What if we just grab and then it draw a, spell? a pile like this, right? What if our head. pile is Lion's Eye Diamond, Oracle, Street Wraith? And... Yeah, we don't need I we don't need ideas. Nope. That was a bad idea. We just need Lion's Eye Diamond. So Oracle on the bottom. I think it's just a Thassa, a Thassa cycle sandwich. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't we got to get into, uh, we got to have the diamond up. Well, the brainstorm's going to. Yeah, the brainstorm's going to show us the, three of these cards. The pedal's got to be on top, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, all right. So Thassa, stuff, pedal. So we... What, like Edge, Street Wraith on bottom? Then Oracle, no. Edge, Pedal. I think it's Oracle on bottom, and then... Well, so hold on, right? We're going to cast this, we're going to cycle the Street Wraith, it's going to draw us this Pedal. And mm -hmm. then Brainstorm is only going to show us three of these cards. Yep. So we need to, one of those needs so to be on the bottom, uh... it doesn't matter, we need to have Lion's Eye Diamond. 
So, so just put the street wreath on bottom? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then Oracle, Diamond, Edge, Petal. Cycle Street Wreath. Petal. And we got Force of Will Ponder if they Endurance Pitch. Green spell. Green I spell. I don't know what else. Uh, what? Put back. Force of negation. Oh, okay. They're just done. They they're they're done they... dealing with us. I understand. Yay! There's our win, Greg. We we got one. We did it. Everybody, thank you for coming out so far. Um, we're uh, we're one and two, but it seems to be that that's that's how these go right now, right? That's more, I think, a factor of us than um, getting right. They <laughs> are tired of your pile stacking. Uh, the, Mason, the answer is Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, <laughs> I was tired of it. I almost. JP, you have a good night. Travis, welcome. Yeah, they were indeed tired of our pile stacking nonsense. Uh, yeah, so Mason, the game plan there would have been uh, Lion's Eye Diamond in order to cast Thassa's Oracle. Wait, that doesn't work. What am I doing? Yikes. Noise. Well, opponent didn't know that they weren't dead. All right, we won the die roll. Uh, you're right, you're right. I, uh... I think the pile was right. I just think it was in the wrong order then. Accurate. Um, this is probably fine. I think yeah, Thassa has to be last. We just have to cycle into her. So, what underground sea thoughtsies? See what's up. Sure. Correct. Correct, Travis. That is that is how LED works. What are you? Uh, yikes. I'm going to take this exploration. Like, that's, that's scary, but yeah. all of this is scary. This is lands. Yeah, goody. Wasteland, you coward. Just do it. Fire it off. Don't even think about it. Deal. Their wasteland is gone. We really... Yeah. Draw Thassa's Oracle. Hell yeah. Alright, cool. Um, I mean, what? Like, use this... Do we use this tutor to get Doomsday now? Just thin the deck by doing so? I feel like yeah. that's correct. Might as well. They're not interacting with our hand, right? Correct. Doomsday. Cat's out of the bag. I mean... I feel like, like, what are they going to do? Like, bog us here? Like, they... So the thing is, they have a depths combo in hand. It all just exists. What is... Do I care about that? What are you going to get with this map that I'm supposed to care about? Port? That takes a long time. Do I care about this at all? I don't think we care about it. So I'm, like, they could get something like Rashad and Port, right? And that's kind of spooky. I definitely don't want this Thassa's Oracle in my hand. I, I'm i not upset about having that Doomsday in hand. So do we brainstorm now and try to do the thing? Yeah, uh, it, Travis, me playing all these black cards is a little strange. But, uh... I've also played a reasonable amount of Doomsday, but not this particular configuration. So do we brainstorm right now trying to cast this Doomsday, Greg? That's the question. I mean, we might as well. I mean, we, could, we need to sculpt a better hand without this Thassa's Oracle in it. Yeah, like, we know this Oracle's going back. What, keep personal tutor as our pitch card? Put... Yeah. Do we care about a pitch card against this deck, though? I mean, are we... A lot of their stuff is not interactive. Do we just push away? Well. Yeah, I guess, like, what are we afraid of, right? Like, a. I guess we just put away the personal tutor. Sure. 
You talked me into it. This is diamond. Hey, nice tabernacle. Do we brainstorm end step here? That's the next question. No, I think we want to dig deeper. We need to find this um, dark ritual. We want to shuffle all that turd. Okay. Are we getting swamp or are we getting underground sea? I think at this point we're already dedicated to having a basic mana base to at least play magic with. So I would I would do the swamp, but sure. You talked me into it. So we brainstorm or preordain here. We don't have a guaranteed shuffle. We I say preordain. Brain, so. Brainstorm is definitely more powerful if we have a. Hey, there's ritual. Sweet. So just do it. Fuck them. We don't have a way to draw into our pile. Yeah, but they're not gonna kill us this turn, are they? Uh, they're gonna put. They're gonna make a dabs. Wraith, wraith, oracle. We need another blue source. So what? Petal. They're or not gonna it? make a. But they're not gonna make a titan. Or a. Merit leash. Petal. Petal. Does that look good? I mean, they can make a merit leash this turn. They have the. The depths in hand. But what? Like But not we... right now. Not Correct. in your end step. Correct. As far as we can tell, that is factual. So what? Pedal, pedal, wraith, wraith, oracle, and just like turbo it. So we draw pedal no. So we draw pedal brainstorm into No, so the, the game plan here will be to draw Wraith Wraith into Wraith, then brainstorm. Draw Petal, Petal, Oracle, put back Personal Tutor, Force of Will, and then just but cast then, the Oracle. But then they, they have the Punishing Fire, right? What does that matter? It only does two damage. Oh, it's a 1-3. Hello. Sweet. Do it. Hooray. All right. Uh, oracle, Petal, Petal, nope. Petal, Wraith. All right, Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. Brainstorm. Tutor. Force of Will. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So, so much of our interaction feels so bad. Yeah, I do play Doomsday, and it's hard. Hard. I just... So, we need to be able need to beat a 20, 20 That's for sure, right? So do we bring in Consigned to Oblivion as failsafe for Merit Lage? Yeah, so we can bounce it. Yep. And, I mean, it feels like the dazes are junk. I think that's a reasonable call. What else are we bringing? Like, Force of Negation? Uh, are we forcing stuff on them, or do we want to dress stuff out of their hand? I I don't know. This one. Like, they're probably playing Endurance, and we want to be Yeah. That. So put them in the Pact and Negation. Pact? Okay. And then what? Take two Forces, or two Duresses, or... Do we, like, they could have Pyroblast, so we could play Cavern to beat Pyroblast, but that seems, like, kind of weird and questionable. Yeah, I don't see them playing Pyroblast on us. Lands used to. Um, well, we need two more cards. Is it bring back two dazes, two duresses, or two force negations? I would bring back... Boy. 
Like, I I think Duress sucks. Because well, the cards that we're really worried about the, are called into... The Sheldock, the Sheldock Emrakul pile is also a part of beating Endurance. Yeah, but it feels like trash against it lands. It feels trash against lands. I tell you what, unless I think we're going to bring these win. four Force Negations and cut these two Duress. Unless we play it that turn... I bought four Force Negations, cut all the Duresses. Alright. Uh, they play Chalice, right? They can. They gotta play they Chalice. They don't always. This feels good, right? Yes. I yeah, kind of want to just, like, Misty get Ponder. Get an island? Yeah, Misty Island Ponder. Oh. Yikes. Uh, we lost that last one. I totally missed that. What? I mathed wrong, and we drew from an empty deck. Yikes. What are you talking about? Yeah, we lost that last game. I thought they scooped. Yeah, I did too, and then I just looked at the history, and we drew from an empty library. Because apparently I did the math wrong, and our brainstorm drew into two cards, not three. Uh -huh. Yikes. So that... Awesome. Uh, I'm going to shuffle this. This looks bad. Okay. Well, that was ridiculous. I totally thought we won that, and we lost. I'm bad at that math sometimes. It's okay. Gross! I don't want you to have this exploration, though. Yeah, you can, you can, this is, if, if there's anything to force, this is, uh, I mean, in the beginning of, beginning of the game. Yeah, like, that exploration is just so scary because of the presence of things like Rashad and Port and Wasteland and Delta. Go. It also makes, this whole process has made getting this island so much worse. Stage, sure. All right. There's another Delta. We have a Force of Will online. I actually like drawing all of these f fetch lands right now. I, I really don't mind that. I'm not upset about it because it lets us, oh, yikes. Saga, sure. That's terrifying. Do we cycle Street Wraith now? Or do we just draw a card? I think we just draw. Pact of Negation, you say? Well, I found our pitch card for because us. Because we have Lion's Eye Diamond, we could we could we could start our pile off by playing it and then wraith wraithing it of our first card and cracking LED. Sure. So we actually have a way to start off with a ideas unbound pile if we could just find a land. Right. So do that. Find a land. I mean, that the would be great. The would be good to fight Endurance when we start doing all that nonsense. Well, we just have Force, too, right? We, we do now, yes, but... Uh, yeah, you can punish and fire me. That, that's all fine. And this is where they start making creatures yeah. that we have to worry about. Oh, good. We need to kill. They just have the Come 2020 on, online. Yikes. What do you think? Do we just like double fetch here? Yep. Try to think. Well, no. No, because I think we want to draw land. Fair. That's not a land. Cycle the Street Wraith? Can we can we personal tutor put a consignment on top and then cycle Street Wraith into it and bounce their shit? Sure, we have to fetch first. Do we? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I guess go ahead. Take the swamp, I guess. Cast personal tutor. Okay. I mean, if they read what the card does, oblivion. they'll know not to. They'll know not to make a thing. It's also just kind of a weird card, so. So this is the problem, though, right? Is that they just start doing this instead? Oh, I know, but it's what a one-one. Uh, and then they make another one, and they're both two twos. Yeah, I know. And then they get from their deck probably Mox Diamond. If I had to venture a guess. True. Yep. They didn't make another one. Weird. And they also didn't copy their saga, which is strange. I think they're just setting up to be able to make a make a thing. Do we want to cycle now, or do we want to wait until our turn? We know what we're drawing. As of right now, they're not killing us, so I think we're just drawing... Because right, we we still need to find a land so that we can just yeah, so we can cast in the and kill. Into yeah, lion's yeah. eye diamond and, and go off. Like I think we win if we just get a land, and as long as that consignment is now keeping them off of it. Sure. Sorry, Travis. I'm just catching up here. Uh, we can't what. Anything. Win. I mean, probably. It is something that we want to watch them being able to get that punishing fire back in their hand and oh, come on. burning us. Do we cast Fucking another personal person? tutors? Jesus. Can it can it just go get us a, a ponder for fuck's sake? It can. Or edge or preordain. Probably preordain, right? Ponder sees four cards. I suppose, but we also are priced into taking the last one. Uh yeah, they can you can absolutely with the trigger on the stack, you activate. Um and then the other thing that they could have done and chose not to do, which is mind-blowing, is you can have Thespian Stage. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You get a 2020. Um, you can have Thespian Stage. Uh, become a copy of... Might as well Saga. let them go into their attack step. Yeah, I agree. You can have Thespian stage because yeah, yeah, yeah. Stage copy uh, becomes, and then state well, but then stage targets something else at a later point, and it still retains the abilities. Uh, you can put that back in your hand. Ah, we're getting blasted. Yup. Are we really? I told you. Yep. This is not new. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Travis, it's pretty great. So, because Saga says that it gains the abilities. So that's why they went into making the Merit Lages, because they had drawn yeah, they, or they, found they, a blast. Yeah, they had the blast for the bounce spell. Um, oh, I mean, you're... So the Ponder needs to find a Dark Ritual, preferably. Yeah, that's reasonable. Because we still kind of need the land open. Come on, Ponder. Use the island. What is... Oh, they're going to make another 2020 here. Yikes. Yeah, this needs to be Dark Ritual. They can't... No, don't they need two mana to make a they 20 20? Floating. Oh, they did? Yep, they floated two and then rotated. Alright, so whatever. Ponder needs to basically find it. They're just telling us that 
Well, we already did, gonna... right? Like. Yeah, we're we're dead if we don't find. Hold on, how does this work? Uh, so we drop, we keep the pedal. Cast Doomsday. Cast Doomsday. Street Wraith into Lion's Eye yeah, Diamond. Crack but then LED, it make blue, blue, blue. Yeah, blue, 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 which draws us. Edge so, of the okay, yeah. Into Brainstorm. Well, hold well, on. we need a. I, I think it's an Ideas on Bound pile that draws um, Lotus Petal. Yeah, oh. just who cares about this stuff? Keep the Lotus Petal. Put that back. Keep the Lotus Petal. No. That's... We'll figure out the pile while we're figuring out the pile and the pile. Sure. On the deck. Black. 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 Doomsday. We know we need... Black mana matters. Oracle. Edge of Autumn. Um... It's, I think we're I think we're using ideas unbound. Okay. Because that'll we'll basically net one blue ideas unbound will draw us three cards and as long as one of them is lotus petal lotus petal in in Thassa's oracle or um, cyclers we're fine. Right. Okay. So the so pile then we, is edge, edge, of, of, autumn, edge uh, of autumn ideas unbound lotus petal street raid Thassa's oracle. Uh, maybe we don't need one of the cyclers, and we can put a pact of negation in, in case they have pitch endurance. Well, or they, they only have, got they, they only got one card. card. Correct, correct. So we don't care about that. Yep. Yeah. All right, just jam it. Okay. Oracle on bottom. We need. Uh, I guess wraith. Pedal. Ideas, Edge, Lion's Eye Diamond. Have you ever Lion's Eye Diamond on this format before? Cycle, blue, blue, blue. Yes, answer is yes. Okay. Cycle, crack, Ideas, pedal. Eat it. Cool. My 1 3 beats your 20 20. Correct. 1 3 did indeed beat 20. Boy. We should be, we should be going into the next match and not the third game. I agree. We just missed, like, both of us totally didn't count the number of cards correctly. No, not at all. Um, Feels like we finally earned a win, though. I mean, we were very close. We were at one life. That was an actual game. Uh, I think we just generous. run this back as is, right? Like, there's nothing we really want to see. Yeah. I think we just want to run it back. Jim Garfield will be front pro. G Jim Garfield? Uh, wow. This hand does a whole lot of nothing. Wraith, Wraith, Thought, Seas, Underground, Sea, Delta, Delta, Brainstorm? Or does it Or does it do everything? That Brainstorm could unlock a lot of shit. Are you telling us we keep... Are you telling me we keep it, Greg? <sighs> I mean, there's nothing else. It seems like we can do better. You just never know. But the Brainstorm could be anything. Sure. It I mean, we could boat. just keep this, play Delta on one and pass, and pray. Like, this is all doable. What do you this, think? Uh, I love Brainstorm, and it fixes everything. Okay, you got it. So, but, I, but for some reason my brain tells me not to keep it. But my heart says keep it. Well, your heart got what it wanted, Greg. We kept it. That's fucking gross. Our opponent cast Thorn of Amethyst. Sure, sure. Well, we drew Doomsday. Should we... Oh, really? We drew Doomsday. You want to thought seize them? Can't. They have a thorn in play. Oh. 
What are we getting? Island? No. Jesus, guys. Holy crap. They, they can just do things now, can't they? Well, they just... They're gonna pithy needle. But what are they gonna need? They're gonna needle street wraith. Yikes. Does it stop cycling? It sure does. Does it really? Yep. Yep. That's gross. Oh, man. Oh, buddy. Dude, I, I I'm just gonna play just this other underground season. C and pass. I, I guess we could thought seize. Yeah, just thought seize them and see how bad it is. Everything for black. How good is your hand? Oof. <laughs> oh no, that's so bad. Make them cast the Life of the Loam. Well, I mean, they're I... going to cast it, get back a Wasteland, Wasteland us, then start dredging Loam. This is also so very bad. Uh, wait, they, yeah, can't, they're, they're... they can't actually cast Loam. Dark Depths doesn't make mana. True to that. Thorn of Amethyst, I'm going to assume, then, is, is a... It's Thalia. Global. Yep, it is, it is indeed. It's Thalia. I think we need to brainstorm and get rid of these street wraiths. I, you're um, going whether, to, probably but not, end of turn. Yeah, I'm going to do it end of their turn. Now they're going to loam. No, they're not going to I can't believe that that shuts off cycling. That that throws me so hard. It is an activated ability, Greg. No kidding. Wraith, wraith. Grab. Swamp. I mean, at this point, don't we just get another... We've got land for days. I agree with you, but we also need to think about what what can fetch what. I and mean, do we do we ideas unbound and just draw three cards? No, because you have to discard could... three cards at your end step. I know, but we could discard a land and a personal tutor. Well, we're going to need the land negation. to be this Thorn of Amethyst. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So maybe get preordain in. Do we preordain or we just put the doomsday on the stack? Can we? Oh, we can't on. because it's born. I mean, we I have a land drop, but I just realized they're just gonna oh. make a twenty twenty at us. So do we personal tutor? No. I mean, we're we're basically dead, right? But we could show strength. And just, like, pass with all of our mana open. And pray that they take the... That they take the bluff. I guess... Yeah, we're gonna... You guys play the land and, and fetch with it? We don't even need to fetch. We can just pass. Then do we have to cast Ideas Unbound to hopefully draw Consignment in a Lotus Petal? Oh no, because Lotus Petal costs one. Correct. We literally just have to bluff that we've got it. I hate them. Yikes. Well, alright. One in four. Or one in three. Uh... Oh. Hopefully this lead didn't cost any money. I mean, it might have, but I also might have been willing to throw that money down the drain, so. Sometimes you have to be willing to set $10 in fire, Greg, for science. I have been, you know, I do that. So again, thank you for everybody for coming out and uh, watching this beautiful beautiful disaster man that feels like like we already knew that we threw away the first two games because we didn't play very good that one definitely feels like we threw away because we didn't play very good I mean probably but game, in game one when we built our pile substandard yeah I mean so the the deal that was there that I there was an extra cycle that there shouldn't have been. We should have just brainstormed and done the thing. The cycle should have came afterwards. But, eh. Such is life.
honestly, out of all of these games, all I want to do is see a Delver deck so that we can. That's, I mean, There's, yeah, that's the deck to test against. All right. So, do we keep this, knowing that we can preordain and Thoughtseize off of basic lands? Yeah. Sure. All right. We're one and four. We're one and three. This is this is the oh what <laughs> well something we to look see. forward to. All right, so here's our opponent, Underground Sea. This might be the mirror, Greg. This this might be exactly what we signed oh, up for. This might be the mirror. Just packed and negation them on turn one. Fuck. Dark it. ritual, sure. Doomsday. Just shut down the doomsday. I mean, unless they have it, unless they have their own fight in their hand, oh, I would just shut cycle down. Oh, Cycle Street Wraith. Okay, okay. Hold on. Now I'm just going to, I'm going to Thought Seize them. That's where we're at, Greg. I'm just going to Thought yep. Seize them. And you can just go get Underground C. Oh, absolutely. I, I am actually excited for this match. I'm not excited about the buffering right now. Whatever's going on. What's going on? What do you mean? Uh, Brainstorm is more powerful. We're taking it. So opponent's hand remaining is Misty Rainforest, Ponder, Volcanic Island. They've cast the Ponder up front. So opponent is so also they have on the just red lands in their hand? What's that? What'd you ask, Greg? Did they only have one card in hand then? Is oh. it just lands in their hand at this point? Correct. I couldn't see it. Yeah, sorry. Yep, the, their hand remaining after while well, Ponder's on the stack was Misty Rainforest and Volcanic Island. They have one card we don't know. Oh, okay. Played the Misty. So we know their hand is Volk plus two unknowns. Alright. Misty Rainforest. Brainstorm, I guess? Unless it's Dark Ritual Doomsday. Well, like. We can so just start a personal digging. Personal tutor, right? So I can dun junk this Ponder, junk a Flooded Strand. Let's oh, see. hell yeah. Yeah. Fetch with Misty. Get underground. Cast personal tutor. Get doomsday. Say go. We have personal tutored for a doomsday a lot in this league. Sure. And there was the one match or the one game where we drew like all three personal tutors and we hated all of them. Yeah. So, so I'm really on the fence like, with that card right now. I've seen people go down as far as two on that card and as many as four. Four seems too much. I would agree with that statement. Ooh, and then two old. still seems too little. They just had it. Nice. Two cards left in hand. Are we just dead? Oh, you fuckers. Well, so we... Did they, they ponder into the perfect... <laughs> they had to have. They... They did not well, shuffle. They... It had to have been a pretty good ponder for sure. Like, they... They had to. Because they, they didn't have either of those two cards. So one of them they had to draw. And then draw the next one on their own. That's that's a hell of a ponder. Yeah, that ponder apparently was gas. But so we need to preordain into the same amount of gas, and because I don't think that they win right now. 
I agree that I don't think they win right now. And Unless the one card is, one other card is a um, cycler, I don't think they win. They have to pass. So we have Dark Ritual into Doomsday, a land floating. How do we build this pile so that we win on the spot through whatever their garbage is? Or do we build a hand that just tries well, to beat we them? Can, we can preordain into something in our pile. Consider, hey. They're probably going to mill the top card of their deck, draw a new card. Yep, they mill deep analysis. I have started seeing a list run one consider. Yo, deep analysis. Because I have seen that card also. They're going to back deep analysis with their Lion's Eye Diamond. Yep, I have seen that. That seems pretty gas, hotness. Gas. I saw a list of that Yikes. just the other day. So is this this has to be Oracle. Or, nope, Cycle Edge of Autumn, Cycle Street Wraith. Nope, just Cycle Edge It's, what is it, three life, though, that they gotta pay? It, it just seems, uh... Pedal. Yeah, I, but I mean, it's... Yeah. It's good against a situation like this. If their life total had been under all pressure right. at all. Pyroblast in. Pact of Negation well, can go... Well, congratulations on your ponder, sir. That was gas. I want Pyroblast. Uh, I think Thoughtseize has to go. I think Personal Tutor sucks. You you want to just bring in two duress for Pyroblast? And then we cut Pact Negation, two Personal Tutor, two Thoughtseize? We could cut a third Personal yeah. Tutor and bring in a Force Negation. I don't think we need the Force Negation. I think that is enough. Yeah. Yep, so definitely got to find a deep analysis for the deck. I think that is um, between, uh, with the printing of Consider. I'm going to keep this and duress them on one. We also have just like a, a whole yeah. fistful of interaction. Have days, yep. I have Days, this Ponder, Duress, Force of Will, Lotus Petal, Doomsday, like... I think we're just going to Duress them on one. See, this is where, like, I liked the versions of the deck that had, a like, a creature-based threat that was, like, a juke. Because then we could just board that in. Let's see, Duress you. And then, like, this Doomsday wouldn't matter because we could just fish towards... Uh, gonna take the duress or the doomsday. They brought in their cavern, which is something we didn't think about. We were yeah, probably supposed to bring I in our cavern. Didn't even think about cavern. Yep. Okay. Or they just had a, a list with a stock ca cavern. You're gonna duress me. Not. I'm gonna lose my doomsday. Boy, this suddenly feels like a terrible ass hand now. It's fine. We have a ponder. Unless you daze them. Daze them. Why would I daze them? Fuck them. No, I'd rather keep our interaction. Our doomsday is better than that daze. I w would rather keep our interaction for the whole exchange that's about to go down. Oh, God, I kind of want all of this. Um... But at the same time, I kind of don't want any of it. We need to we need to find our doomsday. It's kind of a race. The well, so Honest. it's not a race. I think because I would their cavern, shuffle. cavern only casts their oracle, right? And we have plenty of ways to fight as long as we keep force blue card. So I think I want brainstorm here. But we're not we're no, not advancing our strategy for three turns. That's not true at all. We're going to draw this Force of Will. I stacked that wrong. Oh, I shuffled. That's why. I'm bad at this. Okay. Well. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Did so you accidentally shuffle? I accidentally shuffled. That was very good. Um, 
so my plan there was to draw the force of will, have days plus force, and mm -hmm. then draw brainstorm, brainstorm to clean up the hand. You indeed have put a cavern on, oh, on Wraith. Nice. Is he really? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cavern of Souls is on Wraith. We just drew Arthas's Oracle, so that's kind of cool. Um, he probably saw the same stream, or, uh, YouTube video I did and was trying to mega brain you. Don't let him. No, I mean, that that's a like, strategy that people employ is just like... It's not a spirit. common one. I, it's reasonably common at this point. Because the thing is, your opponent is so worried and so built to beat the... the like, he needs a lot more mana to do that, though. That's a lot of mana. I mean, Dark Ritual helps. I hear three Wraiths are five. Dark Ritual helps. I'm dazed the shit out of a Dark Ritual right now. Oh, 100%. Uh, this Oracle can go back. I don't think you, sh I don't think you shuffle. Oh, you did shuffle. I did. What the hell? This this ooh, pyroblast looks sexy. I agree. This pyroblast is very, very, very good. It's like my tractor. Ooh. It immediately cycles a street wraith. You got it. Alright. So we know the cavern's gone. They have packed days, three unknowns. Do we just blast this ponder? No, I think we. I think the blast stays in our hand to fight. All right. Over things. And I don't even think we need to go get an underground sea yet. Just leave a pedal up for a blast. Uh, right now, they're not resolving anything that's relevant. So I mean, we're gonna fetch anyway because we want these cards off the top of our deck. What What is on the? Do we know what's on our top? I just brainstormed, yes. It is oh. another land and the Thassa's Oracle. Do we want the land? No, we don't want the land. Screw that. We don't want anything. We want a Doomsday. Draw a Doomsday. I'm going to grab Underground Sea. I don't want to... Wow. Drew another land anyway. Let's go. Well, we could... Play Street Wraith. We sure can. And beat the shit out of them if we could draw something. We have everything right now. We could Force of Will, Daze, and Pyroblast if we wanted to expend our entire hand. <laughs> gross. Oh, Absolutely gross. Our, I mean, our opponent is basically not resolving anything at all. Come on. Thought sees me. Okay. Alright, Greg, do we counter it? But, I mean, maybe, maybe daze it. You could even cast the daze. I plan on doing just that. I will trade my one bad card for your one bad card. Are they just actually going to try to resolve it here? That's spooky. Yikes. Okay. Do we blow this do dark ritual to force of will? Yeah, we don't need the dark ritual. Yeah, we do. Our two lines are tapped because of days. We cast days, Greg. No, no, I'm saying we don't need the dark ritual f to cast our own doomsday. Oh, sure. So I do have to get Valk here. Is is that do they have a days in their hand? They Oh, they yeah, do. Yeah, get the Valk. They do so, have a no big, it, I. It's fine. We'll 
we I don't think we want it to resolve Doomsday still. We should have just free cast days, though. Oh, for sure. Are they going to force? Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, hmm, friend, that seems questionable. I know you have a days. I will not pay one for days. We also now know that they have force of will in their hand. This Pyroblast is going to do nothing in our hand, then. Uh, that's not true, because they're going to get Oracle, right? Well, I guess they have Pact, so we just need to be Pact plus the Oracle. Well, that's right, because they got a Caver Cavern of Souls. But the Cavern is on Wraith. That's what I'm saying, yeah, we don't... Yeah, like, the the Oracle is counter... Unless they're running two. Uh, which is possible. I've seen lists playing, like, two and three. They could feasibly have second cavern. We might very well lose this because we hard cast days instead of free casting it. I, I know. Our opponent is going to take a few minutes here to decide how they want to try to kill us with this doomsday. While they think about it, I'm going to enjoy this glass of wine. Who knows? Might make a sandwich too. We might be here a minute. Maybe they're on the Team Swish um, strategy to make your opponent scoop because of your pile decisions. I mean, seems great. I, that's... Greg, I, I don't like our odds here. I'm just going to throw that out there. They have five cards to our one, and they're putting their... Their Doomsday is resolving, so... I, I feel like I know we're more likely to with all of the with all of the stuff that we had. It felt like we should have been doing better than that, and it it starts with hard casting the days. I mean, maybe maybe it start like I think you play. There's, there's an I think you play this we game were, differently if you. There's an argument that we were supposed to duress away one of the pieces of counter magic instead. But they had a doomsday in their hand, right? They did. But if we duress away one yeah. of the pieces of counter magic and then fight over the doomsday instead. But it could have been years until they drew another doomsday and their counter magic just becomes worse as... I mean, their counter magic still becomes very good because it fights our doomsday and it protects the one that they draw eventually. Also, this doomsday art is still fantastic. Uh, my favorite one is the demon. That's fair. Which is the Moto version only. I, I really, see. really wish that that was uh, paper art, because that would be mine. But I do... I do like the classic. I do like the classic art. Yeah, like the... Oh, it's... It's pretty good. I mean... Maybe we win the clock here, because our opponent forgets how Doomsday works? That they eventually have to construct a pile. No. We we won game one, right? Yes. Yeah. This is game three. We won one of them. That's what matters. Oh, this is game three? I think so, right? I don't know anymore, man. Does it say somewhere? It does not. How does Moto work? 
Uh, poorly is the answer to your question. <laughs> oh, they figured it out. I I only remember you getting into the uh, the sideboard the one time. Because we decided since, that like, we forgot to board in Cavern Souls. Yeah, I say I've been up Go since through like the history. This morning. Look at the I history. Don't... At this point, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. I don't know which way is up. So, all right. There's whatever they've constructed. It's a path to turn pile. Do we cast this brainstorm or do we hold it? I would definitely cast it. I don't think it's... Yeah, just cast it. We don't know what is going on on our top. We need to know. Knowledge is power. I mean, but is it any better to do it now than on their turn? I mean, if you draw land, we could still we could make our land drop. But do we want a land, or do we want something that fights whatever they built? We could draw into more counter magic, then. But we can also do like that on days. Their... Days seems really strong against them right now. We can also just days on the. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass. I don't think there's any reason to cast this brainstorm right now. Like. Word. I I don't think that it benefits us at all. Like what we're really looking for is counter magic and you got a street right sure. Pedal. Y'all. Real talk, do we blast this or wait for the Oracle? Honestly, I would wait for the Oracle because okay. I, uh, they've played their land drop, so there's not a, another cavern coming. Not this turn. There's Petal. There's Petal. So this plays around days. Hold on. Let's try to big brain them. I'm going to cast this brainstorm. What do you do about it? Sick. That's what fine. Do we get? They're going to pack it? They packed it. I think that's fine. Because that could be... That's That was my point. That could oh, be what they were looking to... Oh, blue card. Oh, they had double oracle. Their list had double oracle. Interesting. Okay. So they did have a another. They did have a force. Yep, they had force blue. So they they is... built they built a pile based on have us having two pieces. They sure did. They won the match. Well, Greg. That was the match. That was that was the match, and yeah. we are one and four. So that is the maybe end we of play our, that better if uh, the end of our if we don't go down the turd hole, the first two games maybe we play that a little bit more serious. Well, I mean, so we yeah we definitely made some de some decisions that were questionable. Um, I think. There is, so like I called it at the beginning of the this stream. That oh, I, I, I was really they had worried. the consign deep analysis win. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I called it at the beginning of this league. The the matchup I was really worried about was the mirror, and like we got savaged, right? Like that wasn't close. Like they they bullied us. Game one was three. Minutes. I think they have. I think they had a better deck because of the more updated consign or consider tech. I think that that helps. But outside of that, I don't think it was that bad. Uh, they had double Oracle, which I think is definitely worth noting. So like, they were able. I don't to... think it is. I don't think. I don't really like the double Oracle. I, don't I do hate see it. it in some lists, but. I don't hate it, especially if you're, like, there. Like again, with all of the. Endurance is running around. Double Oracle just beats that, right? If you build a pile that ha contains Double Oracle, and they're just like, okay, get you, and then you're just like, okay, yeah, a couple put, of turns. It puts all your it puts all your graveyard back into your 
deck. Yeah, but you don't have that much graveyard left. Doomsday you got six turns worth of graveyard left. Ish, right? So, but that's that's the thing, right? Is it's like how much of that is just like do nothing cyclers and nonsense? So, I think that. But like, yeah, but they then they also have an endurance in play sometimes, or oh, for sure. But you also still have a one pressure. three that just blocks the endurance. And then if you're just like, okay, cycle a couple more, do another thing, that can just win you the game. Well, even right, in that everybody. pile, though, they didn't need the second oracle to win. I, I mean, no, it was their pitch card for force, but I think that it's a, a definitely a deck building choice that I kind of like personally. So, I guess to go over it again real quick, everyone, um, close this. This was the deck we played tonight. This is Greg's Exact 75. So, uh, some of the notable talking points um, Single Edge of Autumn. Single Thassa's Oracle. That needs to go to two. Yep. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that it needs... Ooh, Moto, calm down. Um, single Thassa's Oracle, single Edge of Autumn, three personal tutor, 2-2 uh, two -two main deck split between Duress and Thoughtseize, two more Duress at the sideboard, uh, one Volcanic Island for three sideboard Pyroblasts, a Massacre... In the sideboard, one packed main, one packed side, three petal main, a lion's eye diamond. Um, so like I think some of the big things here definitely want a second edge of autumn. Uh, that card feels absurd every time I've played Doomsday. Basically, since Thassa's Oracle got printed, uh, edge of autumn feels absolutely obscene, and I want more copies. Um, I'm starting to like the idea of another Oracle. Mostly because Endurance is so good. And sometimes you can just beat an Endurance with a second Oracle. Um, but we, the Endurance, uh, going back to Endurance, the Endurance is beaten by Pack the Negation and it's beaten by Emrakul's Shelldock Isle. So the thing... Okay. Those, those snow decks that are running that, that's what that is for and you don't need the second. The snow decks, so You're not sure. winning that way. But the thing is that, like, there are other decks also playing Endurance that Sheldock Isle is not safe against, right? So you're talking things like Maverick, uh, Green-White Elvish Reclaimer, the Depth Style deck. Um, like, there are decks that are going to play Wasteland and Endurance. And in that situation, like, we ran into... What did we run into? Uh, yeah, but I don't think Maverick. you need a, a second boss like, or to go. Or, we ran into, like, some Maverick sort of, like, deck. Maverick style list tonight, right? And they... Like, we couldn't play the Shellbuck Isle plan when we suspected they had Endurance just because they also no. had Wasteland. But you play more Pact and Negation. And the Thassa's Oracle wouldn't have been relevant against the Maverick deck anyway. They're not interacting like that. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, I don't... I guess I don't love Pact in this deck as a whole. Um, I think that you have enough other ways to bully stuff. Um, I would almost rather see Pact as, like, another Thoughtseize. The um, pact has been pretty relevant because of endurance. Sure. And it also helped fight the mirror when going into your um, and against Delver. Go in your when you're doing the go off pile. The pact is relevant. Fair enough. So I don't know. Um, but there were two pact negation in the sideboard, but you just don't need that many. Sure. I, you need one main deck and then one. This still feels questionable to me too. Like once upon a time, I think Massacre was very, very good in this deck because you needed to cast so many spells and like a card like Thalia was crippling. Now I think it's less the, relevant. Like it's honestly, not, it's not nearly as important as it was. I think that if I was going to see that as anything, I think I would have rather seen that as meltdown. Um, just, like, a way to remove things like Thorn of Amethyst or Chalice the Void or what have you. Um, the Force of Negations are the tech to fight Chalice, and I guess it could be the same tech to fight the Thorns. Sure. I'm, I'm saying that if we're playing a thing that answers permanence right now, it's not 
hate bears out of white decks that I'm worried about, it's usually artifacts. I've always liked a braid also. That's reasonable. Two... I think a braid's totally fine. Um, I think that you could also just play, like, a different sideboard juke, too. Whereas, like, some people played uh, Mentor. Um, some people have played... Like, I even see people, like, playing Baleful Strixes. Like, that's usually main. But, like, Strix is kind of great in this deck. Because it cantrips, it helps you get into the pile... And it's just, like, yep. a thing that can attack for damage, a thing that can block yeah. a Grizzle it, Brand, uh, a whatever. So, And that is nice, but we are starting to run into what do you cut for all these things because it used to be Edge of Autumn, Two Street Wraith, and that's it. But now it's up to six cyclers. Sure. Um, I think one of the things you can cut is a personal tutor. That... Would be one. I think I could... still like the three, but I think going down to two, if if there was something to cut, personal tutor, like for the edge of autumn, second edge of autumn, see you on the personal tutor. There that goes. So and I, I also think, think the discard is the next thing. Like for example, what is going on right now? Let's go to MTG Goldfish and see. I'm I'm most con concerned with getting the consider and the um uh, what was that other card the flashback card uh you're talking deep analysis deep analysis so yeah uh looks like the shell dock isle plan is in about half of lists right now um. What did, it, what did it show on the Massacre? 42%, so less than half. Second Oracle in less than half of decks in the sideboard. Yeah, um, I need to get a, a Red Elemental Blast in there for Meddling Mage type things. Surgical. That's less common Just these days small than it itty, used to be. Small itty bitty hedges. But like, so here we are, right? Two cop, two point one copies of personal tutor. But you also see, there's no basic lands in there either. And that was you another thing I was going to talk about lands. was the basics. So, you're like four, three to four copies of Underground Sea, a copy of Volcanic Island, and then just a whole smattering of fetches. Yeah, they're just running fetch lands for days. So, and I not think, hard days, but for days. Right. So I think that's super reasonable. I think that um, cutting a personal tutor, cutting the basics, I think all that seems fine. Um, I think that... But the basics, the basics just have to turn into lands. They turn into fetches. But I yeah, think... they turn into fetches. That's not really getting us well, so room for the it? consider and the deep analysis, which is, doesn't even show up on this list that you're looking at. Yeah, that's, I was about to look at but more... I... So this is a challenge list from four days ago. This is... They're also on 14 lands. That is something of no... As I opt so for a 15 a, land because... The new list is on... This Mulligan. Is, yep. So this is uh, the 15th place list from the challenge th four days ago. And this is on 16 lands. Only three street rate. You're on... And that might, be, that might be right because how many times are you building a pile with four street rate? Almost never. Um, they're also only on one edge of autumn, but they are playing the deep analysis. They're on two consider, one preordain, two personal tutor. They're on a full four lotus petal. So they're also there's zero red splash here, right? None they also whatsoever. have the cavern in the main deck. Cavern main, uh, because that be, that is your volcanic island, right? Um, this is also well, they don't on have volcanic island in there. You're also on snow-covered island. You are you are on island, but not swamp, which is interesting to me. So there's, what was it? Uh, no pact main. They're both in the side. You also have chain of vapor, two fluster storm, two defense grid. I do like fluster storm. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I definitely don't mind. Well, isn't Chain of Vapor an instant, though? It is. Yeah, the consignment, even though it's two mana, is a sorcery, which is relevant for the personal tutor. 
but if you're the cutting if matters. you're cutting a personal tutor right then you're more relying on cantrips to find it than you are tutor you are so Jane i don't mind the two plus grid either but grid i like grid a lot um, because grid makes your opponent, all your opponents free counter magic. So like in that mirror, like if we had had grid to come in instead of pyroblast, like, wow, does that whole thing change? Because that when we try to, if we try to go off, right, we're not so worried about protecting our stuff. If we try to go off, like that seems great. Uh, second Oracle in the sideboard for force of negation, a wipe away. Which I really like. Read that. Bring that up. Yep. I don't know what that does. It's a one blue blue instant with split second. Return, Return target permanent to its owner's um, hand. Why? Why when you count. have chain of vapor? It's on it, that and chain of vapor. They're on both. It just seems like this gets too around. Much. This gets around chalice and is also uncounterable. It does get around chalice, but I don't think in chalice decks. We're bouncing chalice. We want to force a negation the, the chalice. I mean, I think that sometimes you have to bounce it because sometimes it's just going to show up and you don't have the force in hand. You're going to have to deal with it. I would rather open up the sideboard card and just keep the one consignment. Sure. Um, and then they also I, have I two, do like the defense two in the void in the sideboard. Which... I used to have four. It's whatever. If it really depends on what you think your metal looks like with light line to the board, I sure. think. So then, this is a list from the Saturday Discord tournament. Four Wraith, four Petal, two Edge of Autumn, the Deep Analysis, two Personal one Tutor, consider. one Consider, on the and Red Splash. And they're all splash. on 14 land. Yep, a 14. Tundra? What the hell is white in this deck? Teferi Time Raveler. Is he in there? Okay, better there defense, is. Better defense grid. That's a card I really like in this in this deck, is Teferi. That card is absurd, and when you just get to jam your stuff with Reckless Abandon, and your opponent can't do anything about it, like, this also stops Endurance, right? Like it, it does. It just it does, but you already have plans against all that without without screwing up your mana base with a tundra. I mean, how bad is it though, right? You're like you don't play the bit so you cut your two basic lands, you get a tundra, and then the other one becomes a lotus petal. That all seems fine to me. Like I, like, I just like being a little bit more streamlined. I, we've already got the plans for what Teferi is going to stop. I, I like the so defense grids. Here's the thing with Teferi, right? Teferi doesn't only stop their counter magic. It doesn't only stop their uh, endurance. It also it also deals with the Chalice, right? It deals with Chalice. It deals with things like Thorn of Amethyst or Sphere of Resistance or whatever. Like, all of the things we're worried about, it answers. This is why I was such a huge fan of the Esper list when it first came out, is because of Teferi Time Raveler. I mean, the Mentor sideboard juke is hilarious, but Teferi Time Raveler in Doomsday is obnoxious. It is very, very strong because everything you're worried about, it answers. And now they have to commit resources to dealing with this thing that isn't a fun, like a core part of your strategy. It's just kind of like a side thing. Plus, it's drawing you cards. Like, it, it can just randomly start drawing you cards. And if it doesn't draw you cards, then it can cast your Ponders off turn, your Preordains off turn. Thought sees them in their draw step, anybody? I'm in. Like, you can Doomsday in their end step. Like... There's all sorts of weird stuff that comes up because of Teferi. So, that's super interesting. Um, they are on the Sheldok Emrakul plan. There is a Massacre here, so that's kind of interesting. They're, they're still... With Teferi and Massacre, I, this is a really strong hedge against, like, permanent-based hate. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah. 
And then Neville Shoot is a 5 0 from the second. Deep analysis, a consider, four wraith, four petal. Looks like four petal is kind of the norm right now. Uh, this list is on a Cavern of Souls main and the Red Splash. Uh, they cut yeah, a thought I, I still like that. I like Cavern main. I like Cavern main a whole lot. Especially if I'm if I plan to cut the basics, the Cavern can come in for one of them and another fetch, and then that opens up one spot in the sideboard, which will immediately become the first um, defense grid. Yep. So, speaking of my favorite white splash, sideboard, one Tundra, yeah. two Mentor, two Teferi. And this is actually kind of neat. I The reason I think I like the Mentor sideboard juke so much is because it is a complete divergence from your main plan that still works well with your main plan. Because you want to be casting all these, like, discard spells and personal tutors and ponders and whatever, right? And, like, if you have a mentor in play while this is going on, your opponent now has to deal with an army of monks and the imminent threat of a doomsday. Like, th this is such a strong plan. Wow. This is quite a sideboard. I just noticed... Their sideboard is two Teferi, two Mentor, four Force of Negation, three Red Blast effects, a second Oracle, the third Duress, Tundra, second Pact of Negation. Like, they're just... Here's extra win condition, two extra win conditions, Teferi to answer a bunch of permanent-based hate. Like... That actually seems kind of strong, and I don't hate that at all. It's got to be for Delver, because that seems to be right now the only matchup that is not beyond 50%. So I don't know, like, if you... Again, if we go back here and we look at it, right? Like, Doomsday is only showing as, like, 3%, 3.7% of the metagame. So, you're seeing a lot more Delver, Death and Taxes, Lands has seen a resurgence, um, the Bant deck, like, there's a lot of other stuff now that's going on, and Doomsday's... Why? It shows that there's the Snow Miracles and regular Miracles, I mean... Uh, the presence of Ice Fang Kowattle is usually the answer to your question. Still, but Endurance is going to be in both of them. It sure both is. Both of those seem to play out the same way for Doomsday and... I'm looking at that as that 8% of the meta is endurance slow control. Sure. Which is just a percentage under Delver. So those are the two things that we got to have our biggest hedges against is Delver, endurance-based control decks. Well, so, and again, the beauty of and then the, beauty of the death Teferi taxes, plan apparently. is you were just talking about this 8% versus snow control, right? Or slow, like endurance control decks yeah. Teferi's good there and then Lands shows up and says I want to put Sphere of Resistance and Thorn of Amethyst into play Teferi's good there this Knight of the Reliquary deck which I'm guessing is Green White Reclaimer it sure is hey look we can play Endurance or we can make a 2020 or like T Teferi is also actually just like sneaky good here it beats a lot of what they have going on like this collector you found on the sideboard these endurances. Against lands, though, I'm not a big fan of that of, of, of with the Teferi plan because you're only got the one Tundra. You're going to play it or fetch for it the turn that you're playing Teferi. Petal also casts land. Teferi, Greg. It, it, I know, it does. So, but Petal those, casting Teferi, there's kind of there for more when you're going fast. And so, like, that Teferi's going to get punishing fired into oblivion the minute you bounce something. They're, they're going to play it, like, once, and that's fine, and you're going to plus. It, and then you're going to ponder on their turn or do whatever. But, like, four Sphere of Resistance, two Rebs, Teferi is an answer to all this. Two Chokes, Teferi is an answer to this. Endurance, Teferi is an answer to this. Pithy Needle, Teferi is an answer to this. Like, this is why but so I... Are the, so are the Force of Negations. It doesn't answer these Endurances. No, That's the, the Pact Negation does. Yeah, but again, that's what I'm saying, right? Is you're talking about two separate cards 
that you have to but set you, up. When you, you only need to worry about endurance when you're in your pile and you put a pack of negation in your pile and, and that's solved. You just need one. Sure. Or you can put a Teferi in play at any point in the game and then you can ignore all of these things. That's the beauty of it. That's why I don't think you ignore it very long. I would rather ignore it while I'm in my pile. I mean, sure. You can ignore it while you kill them, or you can ignore it while you have to cantrip a couple of times to finish off what you need. That's, again, I like the versatility of it. And that's probably me speaking from playing way too much Miracles and what have you. But, like, it, I value I'll, I'll versatility. Versatile for sure, but... I value I think versatility deck... very highly. Like, all, a lot of this stuff, it seems like a very narrow plan. Like... You bring in Blasts for exactly this thing, and Massacre for exactly this thing, and Pact of Negation for exactly Endurance. Like, I, I like Universal Answers. I like things that go, okay, if my opponent could be on any number of these things, I'm going to board in these five cards and these five cards out. That's the beauty of the Force Negations, is the, yep. the versatility of that card answers all of that stuff without having to dilute our mana base too much. So, and I'm kind of wondering my myself, like, these duresses main, I'm wondering if it's, like, I understand why it's duress for the nature of saving the life total before we go into a doomsday, but for the sake of the things we're worried about, I wonder if it's just supposed to be Thoughtseize. I wonder if we want to no, see Thoughtseize. I agree more. with that, too, because like I said when, before we started, that I like having more discard because I would rather fight the stack before it goes on the stack, but... To get a, cons a consider and a deep analysis in the the next cut personal is tutor. the discard suite. Well, I mean, step personal one is personal. coming out for a force and a game, or for an edge, or we could just swap a tree wraith for an edge of autumn. Take out what the two dresses for um, consider deep analysis, Remove. personal so tutor hold on. for. Gonna... Or just take out one personal tutor and a and a duress for yeah, just do it. Let's do it. So there's another edge of autumn. We cut a personal tutor. What else do we want now? Maybe just get rid of the street wraith. I I know a lot of decks are playing four, but it seems like a lot. Sure. So, I guess, what else is it we're looking for, though? That's the question. Consider deep analysis, I think, is, is hot. Uh, you don't want to show me things I have zero quantity of. Okay. Do we not have a consider in this? Uh... We don't currently have a consider in here, so I have to set my collection. Deep analysis. So I did see them going down and preordain too. So we could shave a preordain. I guess. Do we want to shave a preordain or a street wraith? I would shave a street wraith. I like digging, and blue counts for force and the forces. Sure. We also said that we want a cavern main, right? Uh, yeah, take out the island in the, in the swamp and add a fetch land. Probably another Misty. Sure. Yikes. Or cut a, no, yeah, just add a, just add another, or flooded stream. I think it's... So another cavern... Flooded strand. We gotta make one more cut here. We're also the, missing the fourth direct. pedal. Because we've got duress. Oh yeah, fourth pedal. I do like fourth pedal. Okay, so we want fourth lotus just... pedal. So fourth lotus pedal in. We need to make two cuts. Duress. Both of them. 
at least one. So one's down, one more cut. Hmm. How many lands are we on? 14? That seems wrong. Did my deck have 15? We're down a land. Uh, did the Flooded Strand not come in? The Flooded Strand did it's not a, come in. I did not. So I think we got to cut uh, a, a Strand is color. in. One, two... It's still not bringing in that flooded strand. There it is. It's there. Okay. Everything's there. 61 cards. we got to make another cut. I guess I would still go back down to three Lotus Petal because I like discard. Having one to rest just still seems good. So, take our fourth Petal back out. So that puts us... The changes there. are... Plus one Flooded Strand, plus Consider, plus Deep Analysis, plus one plus Edge of Autumn, edge of item. minus autumn. one Personal Tutor, minus one Duress, minus Basic Island, Basic Swamp, minus one Street Race. Does that look like about where you want to be? Yes. Let's look at the board. So right now we're four force of negation, a pact of negation, two duress, a massacre, three pyroblast, second cavern of souls, uh, consigned to oblivion, Sheldock Isle, Emrakul the Storm. So what if we got rid of massacre, cavern, and added to a defense grid? Do we need two defense grid and second pact of negation? I don't know. Because, like, my first thought is that we could... Cut the Pact of Negation. And then we could... Keep the Cavern, maybe? Do we need a, a deck with two Cavern in it, though? I mean, that was something we saw pretty, pretty regular. I think you put, cavern just goes in the pile, and it becomes part of your pile. And sure, and, but you also have to draw. consider that, like, it, it's feasible you draw one at some point. So, like, having us access to a second one is reasonable. Plus, cavern is something that can't be countered, whereas your opponent can counter the defense grid. I don't know. It, uh, it, it's possible that this is overkill. I'm still not, like... Consign to Oblivion versus something like Chain of Vapor or something to that effect. I'm not sure about. Um, two you know more what might be better? What's that? You know what might be better is to go through the top five decks in the format, including the mirror, or plus the mirror, and just look at what we don't want not what we do want sure that way we can look at our deck and be like okay Delver we have five cuts that's fair I'll tell you what Death and Tag got five cuts three Greg, cuts whatever I think we should call it here for the night but I think that maybe we uh we pick up this kind of retech at another time and do another stream with the list that we come up with what do you think Sounds good to me. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. It's been 
a stellar two and a half hours and an absolutely incredible one four. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Greg, thank you for hanging out tonight. Thank you for letting me uh, pick apart your list. And we had an awesome time getting absolutely smashed. It is a fun deck to play, and it's definitely out there. Definitely more on Moto than it is in paper, but for those going to the Legacy out in uh, the Upkeep games, I would love to see how many Doomsday decks you see out there in paper. Yeah, that's definitely interesting. Uh, if anybody out who's still watching us is headed to the 1K at the Upkeep games out in Howell, Michigan, um, let us know. Where do you... How many Doomsday decks do you see in the room? And uh, Red Splash, no Red Splash, multiple Edge of Autumn, multiple Oracle. Definitely curious yeah, I, as to what we have to say. I just don't think it's a big paper deck because of the Underground Sea and Personal Tutor um, expense. That's fair. It's an expensive ass deck. Yeah, I mean, but that's that being said, like I think legacy players are often willing to commit their resources anymore. They know that the reserve list kind of is here, whether we like it or not. And uh, a lot of people are just willing to kind of buckle down and do it, unfortunately. But again, it's just you're not going to run into this thing as much as you would in Unmoto. Sure. And I'll put that in the Discord chat, too. That I'd like to hear that because I'm not sure how many people we got left. That's fair. All right, everybody. All right that was fun. Thank you so much, Greg. Thanks again. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers, everybody. See you again.